Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through the next question. So this question belongs to GATE CSE 2003. Okay, so the question is let G is equal to V comma E be a directed graph with N vertices. Okay, a path from V I to V J. Okay, in G is a sequence of vertices V1 to V J. Okay, V I comma V I plus 1 to V J such that V K comma vk plus 1 belongs to e for all k in i through j minus 1 okay so a simple path is a path in which no vertices appear more than once okay so let a be an n cross n array which is initialized with the following okay so this question seems to be a bit interesting and easy right yes so the the diagram if you try to uh, visualize it will it will be in this way right so v2 v3 and v4 so everything will be one after the other if you observe here so if there is a path from v i where i is equals to 1 and to v j where j is equals to 4 in that situation there should be a sequence of vertices which are connected right so from v1 to v j so they should be connected nice okay so now the question is we are going to we are having a loop here three loops indirectly so 1 to n j 1 to n and 1 to n so i j k okay so we are updating a of j comma k is equals to max of j comma k comma a of a comma i plus a of i comma j okay so i am getting some basic idea with this so this is working same like minimum spanning trees right so basically if you want to find the shortest path from a particular source so if i want shortest path from here i will take all the paths and I will select the minimum one, right? But instead of minimum, we are trying to find maximum. So with this small observation, I think I can answer this question because in one of the option, it is clearly saying that it is working as a longest path, right? Yes. So with that understanding, I think I can say that C is the correct answer because it is a trying to find the maximum value and it is going to find. So basically if there is a J comma K is one item so one path so it is also going through j comma k with an intermediate node i so among these two paths which is a maximum that maximum value we are substituting in j comma k indirectly it is going to search for the longest paths guys got it yes so with this simple logic i can say that c is the correct answer okay yes so now i hope everyone got some basic idea right yes so this is a small hint which was given in the code guys if you want you can take a small example and you can run and you can check right yes okay so now i hope everyone got some basic idea on this so in the next lecture let us continue with the next question Thank you. Thanks for watching. Like, share and subscribe for more awesome videos like this. Thank you.